G'day guys, we're back again. This time we're heading over to Wairapa for our two day red deer meat hunt. So it's Carl and the boys from Tokoroa coming down this time again. Um, Carl's been coming with us for a number of years now. I've forgotten how many years, but it's probably over 10 years now. Carl's been coming with us and he's been doing one or two trips a year with his, his father, Richie, who's a bloody hard case, and Corey, Connor, and I think, uh, um, Corey's our grandfather came down with us once so they sort of bring a new guy each time on this trip um, Carl is bringing his new workmate his business is getting bigger and bigger up there he's a builder up in Tokoroa and he's employed another staff member so he's bringing him along he's going to be a virgin he hasn't shot a deer before Carl's given the boys a bit of tuition on how to shoot and uh, got them all within sort of a one one and a half inch group at a hundred meters and hitting a coke bottle um, at 200 meters quite confidently and success you know what I mean not very good with big words obviously uh, so yeah gonna be a good trip we've got two days to get about uh, I'd say they want one deer at least each and then possibly depending on what number is around we might take another one or two we'll just see what happens so the weather forecast is for westerly northwesterly winds which is not really the best for over here um, but it is the predominant wind so we have learned to work with that over the years going to get a few showers and bits and pieces as well but it's going to be a pretty good weekend so come with us and see how we get along Follow that animal track up there Bradley, good stuff mate. You're right, actually. What are you doing? Who's right, you? ready? <laughs> Action. Yeah, g'day. Corey Carter here. Been here a few times um, over the years with Clayton. Mean place. Highly recommend it. And yeah, good start to the day. Yeah, how's it going, Collingwood here? Uh, coming back for my fourth year, I think. So it should be a good weekend. Yeah, Bradley Port here. Uh, new to the team. Um, heard this place is pretty good, and just. Hopefully we're going to see some animals. Cheers. Yeah, Richie here. Been here a few times. The old boy in the pack. Uh, Christmas do. Looking forward to it. Ready to go. Yours. Yeah, good day. Yeah. Been here plenty of times. Always enjoyable. Bloody, all these blokes work for me now, so I've got to pay for everyone. And um, it's good bloody team building exercise, and Clayton always looks after you. It's top stuff, and it doesn't get old. 
Bring it on. Sweet. So uh, we've got one virgin hunter here, as I said before in the video. Yep. Uh, young virgin. Bradley there. <laughs> Bradley's um, the apprentice. Yep. His mother and father and his sister have been out here, eh? Yeah, and my granddad. And your granddad. So your whole family's been here. You're the only one that hasn't been here yet. So, um, and they've all shot deer here as well. So uh, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> I'm pretty quite quietly confident we should be able to get you one, mate. So um, yeah. Now we've just loaded up the trailers and the, and the bikes are ready to go. So we're just going to journey up to the hut and we'll relax back, probably cook the feed, and then head out for a hunt. And, See if we can knock some deer over. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> right. So we've made a bit of a plan. The guys that have already taken off, but they've gone to another spot. Carl's been up here a few times, so he's going to play hunting guide for us on this trip. Stag line down over here, but probably won't be the issue that one today, Daddy. <laughs> but uh, we'll, um, hopefully, I've seen another one down further, which looked like a hind, so find where you think is what we're after on this trip. So, uh, yeah, pretty good start. Well, We've got down to our deer. The boys, the boys did it awesome. Um, uh, Clayton was asking us to get some yearlings. Um, we did very well, um, although one is a, a young spiker, but then his nubs were so small um, we couldn't identify them. Uh, the boys shot these at just over 200 metres away, and um, yeah, I didn't have the footage going because we had a lot to do and. But it, all the rest of it went well. What did you reckon, guys? Oh, teamwork. Teamwork yeah, here. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, top, top stuff, just like the building we do yeah. together. Yep, yeah. pretty good stuff, really. And they're excellent animals. They, there's no suffering. They, um, the boys shot them up on top of that bank there, and they both rolled down the hill, and we did not put them there. That's where they ended up, right next to each other. And the boys, if we pan around, the boys were back across this gully. She's a bit gnarly and steep down here. We can't get the four wheelers over here. And the boys were right back up on top of that hill there. No, no. Oh no, it's no, next no. next hill over. You can't yeah, even see it. Here. Oh yeah, <laughs> right back up over oh. there. Yeah. It's at least a thousand meters. <laughs> gloves by any chance. Stuff, Bradley, I think you just got your first deer. Where'd you aim? Yep. I think it, you definitely hit it, the way it ran off. She was, um, she was looking a bit wobbly. 
and it looked like a nice wee yearling too, mate. So beautiful. Good stuff, brother. Cheers. First deer. Thank you. Got your sister your, her first deer as well, and, and now I got, got you your first deer, so. Yeah, brother. <laughs> awesome, that's great. Generally a good find when uh, you find it a deer is finding a bit of blood on a fern leaf. Yeah, for sure. Um, especially with a bit of pinkness in it, which is uh, a bit of lung as well, which Bissing, is promising. Bissing, bissing. Flakey's down there. I just want, want him to bark, but the deer's shot here. I think it was right here, actually. Yeah, I think so. And then it's gone down there. We can see a bit of blood going down through the ferns there, down into the uh, down into the scrub there. Young Blake is doing his job, but he's not barking yet, so... We might just um, do a bit of dog training, but um, I'm pretty sure you've just got your first deer there, Bradley. Yeah, that's awesome. awesome, mate. Yeah, so it's um, it's quite dark blood, but there's a bit of see the pinkness there, and that's that's actually you've hit a little bit far back. That's liver, a bit of liver there. That's our breakfast. She's been on a rip. So that's why she's that's why she's run a little bit. You just got a little bit far back by the look of it. So the deer's only gone, what, 25, 30 metres down the hill, as you'd expect on a downhill slant like this. Nice young hind. Beautiful, mate. Good stuff. Beautiful, nice little yearling, mate. That's what we're after. Well, Bradley, what did you think of your experience? Yeah, it was good. We just uh, walked over, you know, through the mahi, get the treats, walked over the hill, and found this deer yeah, just eating, and yeah, managed to pop it off. So, uh, yeah, cheers, Clayton. Stoked. Awesome, mate. Well, um, you pulled the trigger and uh, you got it in the sights, so yeah. I just put you roughly on the right spot. And uh, we're quite we're quite lucky, really. We've sort of seen a few deer, but there's just hundreds of sheep in the way, and there's just no way we can sneak up on the deer at the moment, yeah. out in the open, of course. So I knew there's a few deer around this um, little patch of scrub, so we sort of waited for the perfect time, and then snuck over the edge, and uh, sure enough, there's this uh, this nice young yearling sitting there feeding away uh, at about what 20 metres. Yeah. So um, yeah, we got Bradley lined up on it, and she put her head back down and started feeding. So uh, Bradley lay down and got a nice rest and um, placed the bullet perfectly just in behind the shoulder and uh, she's probably gone 20 metres down the hill. Cheers. Awesome, first deer mate. Yeah, Bloody fantastic. We'll, um, we'll gut him out and we'll get a bit of footage of Bradley carrying her back up the top. I think you'll be um, struggling. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily we got Corey here. <laughs> I was right about the 20 metres. You see the exit wound here. It's <laughs> Perfect amount of blood that I smelt back there in the warmth. You can just tell right now it's exactly what we're after. No, it was bang on um, tracking. So where'd you learn your tracking skills uh, from? Corey? I learned it back in Nam a few years back. Um, did my did 42 years tracking over in Vietnam, tracking all sorts of stuff. So now it's been an awesome thing. Yeah. Bro's asthmatic here, giving a couple of tubs. <laughs> <to me, right? laughs> no, really? sweet man. I mean, so that exit, that's that's the exit hole there, guys. So um. That's why we've seen the bit of liver up there on the fern, and generally that's a pretty good sign that um, it's not going to go too far. So we'll, um, we'll sort this animal out, and um, we'll chuck him on Bradley's back and get him back up the hill. So it's um, it's it's a, it's a unspoken Kiwi tradition that um, when you shoot your first deer, you're supposed to bite a, a chunk out of the raw heart. Don't know why. Don't ask me why, but it's just been a Kiwi tradition, isn't it? I do not know the reasoning behind it, but. Um, Bradley's, Bradley's quite keen to have a go at it, so a true hunter on their first deer they do bite a chunk out of the heart and then you'll be a hunter forever more. You'll be basically um, Sir, <laughs> Sir Bradley the Hunter. I got a face this is what we're saying. And you've got, you, you, you got to bite it and you have to swallow it mate, otherwise you have, it's, to, swallow it? You have to swallow it. Yep. There's nothing wrong with the heart, eh? There's nothing wrong with the heart at all. <laughs> nice work! Give it down, Bradley. Oh. <coughs> so the Chinese, mate, that's a delic delicacy in China. No, I can have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Blakey can have that. He'll he'll think that's great. 
Where's it, Blake? Mitch it. <laughs> Good stuff, Bradley. Good stuff, Bradley. You, you know you didn't have to bite a chunk out of that <laughs> heart, eh? <laughs> <laughs> No, you did, did good. So you're all good. So now he's going to carry this one back up the top for us as well. So we've we've, we've got it all out, got it all ready, um, and Brady's going to chuck it on his back. Get your arms in there, Bradley. Beautiful. So roll over onto your knees. Yep, and I can help you up as well. Otherwise, I can grab you and pull you straight up if you want. Yep, onto your knees, and then straight up from there. Looks like he's gonna smash it easy. Piece of piss. Right, I'll um, pick a nice path for you, mate, so you're not struggling. Can't leave the pink there, so. um, nothing left behind, always do a bit of a. Just follow that animal track up there, Bradley. Good stuff, mate. <laughs> you can push that fucker on me. <laughs> <dude. laughs> Fair out to you, um, lean forward. <laughs> <laughs> so don't the <laughs> yeah the bastard the, the old necks so go around to your right a bit there mate <laughs> slow slow down a bit Bradley you end up doing yourself some damage slow down see that track just there okay. yep that one above you out to your right so before you move your foot other foot make sure your both feet have got good 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 sturdy placement Otherwise, you'll go tumbling back. Push down on those legs as well, and that'll put the push weight more up on your shoulders. Beautiful. Right, I better turn this camera off and give Bradley a hand. He's doing pretty good though. How much do you weigh, Bradley? Like 60. 60. So, Deer's probably about the same weight as you. <laughs> good stuff, mate. You're doing really good. Good stuff, Bradley. Good effort, mate. You did well. And uh, you see those lights over there, and the boys are on their way back. They got a couple there before, as you heard on the radio. So, three deer down on the first night, pretty good. Two to go. Boys are just getting ready, half past four start, and uh, three deer down last night, as you would have seen on the camera and the updates. So, uh, we're just going to head out this morning. Uh, she's a bit of a bleak sort of a day with a bit of rain and drizzle and wind so um, we're going to go up to a handy little spot first on the bush edge and then we're going to take Carl up into the bush and see if he can knock one over with his rifle which is what's your rifle there Carl? Uh, 16 inch takedown 308 Bagara. Bagara. Yeah. Single so shot. Rifle for the bush. Yeah so um, he's already snotted a few deer up in Tokoroa today. Eh? Yeah dropped a big stag with it. Yeah right. Beautiful big velvet stag, those really nice eating ones. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, I mean, we'll go and see if we can snot one in the bush. If not, we might get one on the bush edge before we get in the bush, so. Shooting. Nice neck shot. Yep, nice, in the neck. nice stuff, mate. Nice. Looked out pretty, pretty well. Just popped out like that. So beautiful neck shot for the whole big damage, and it's a nice little yearling as well. So another good eating.
Well, that plan didn't work very well. Uh, wind was just swirling around in the bush there, and the deer were just getting onto us before we got anywhere near them. See where their beds were and where they've been this morning, but uh, they were just one step ahead of us, so we're going to accept defeat this morning and um, start again this afternoon. Right, so the boys are just gearing up, ready to go. We just had a nice big fat lamb roast for an early tea. Um, this time of the year, we don't really need to head out until quite late, to be honest with you. It doesn't get dark till sort of just after nine now, so we haven't done it before we head out, and uh, we'll see if we can find Corey and other deer. Carl and Richie have gone over the other side to see if we can get Carl a deer, and um, we're going to go and try and get one for Corey's granddad, or Popper. 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 Hi, Popper. I know you'll watch these, so... Thanks for giving me some money to shoot you a deer. Cheers. <laughs> so we'll hopefully we can find him one. Mm -hmm. We'll see That's how we go. Eh? Yeah, the wind's died off and uh, um, the weather's cleared up a bit, so we should be alright. See how we go. Eh? Yep. Cheers. <laughs> Good morning, Clayton. Morning, buddy. Morning. Morning, Captain. Morning. So the boys have all uh, got full bellies. We just had uh, venison sausages and uh, eggs and toast for breakfast last morning. We had a bit of a sleep in. Carl, will, uh, tell us how you got on last night there, Carl. Oh, really well. I went up the mountain there. It was a bit windy. Um, we got onto a nice yearling. Clayton wanted us to get a few of them this year, and um, yeah, the wind was howling and it, and it calmed down we watched a bloody yearling for about half an hour before it presented a decent shot and yeah shot that one and got back through all the gnarly gully before dark it was mint. Man. Mm. Sweet so all the boys have got a deer on the deck we um we tried to have a look for one for Corey's popper but uh unfortunately nothing of the target species that we were after came out yeah. every everything else but a nice little yearling in the right <coughs> place to shoot um do you want to tell us about that Corey? Yeah, you want me to? That's why I asked, yeah. Alright, now, so we were just sitting up on this nice grass hill and um, got glass on this hill, and next minute, stag comes out, another one, another one, and um, yeah, no, we just watched him for a little while, and it was a bloody awesome night just sitting there and looked over just on dark on the pig ridges, and there was heaps more deer over there too, well, it was just too dark to get over there, so yeah, we just had, had a good night watching some animals, seen some sheep. Then your sheep around, and yeah, it was quite exciting, so no, it was awesome. Sweet. What about you, Connor? What do you, do you think of the trip, mate? Oh, it's alright. Nah, I'm very good. I've been for, I think, my third time. Knocked over another day. Okay, Bradley, what do you think, mate? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the was awesome. I managed to get my first deer, so yeah, cheers, Clayton. Uh, uh, I'll be back. Usual Sweet as, mate. It was good to get your first deer as uh, well. It's awesome, yeah. It's one of many I've lost count of how many people I've taken out to get their first deer, but that was awesome how you did it, too. You um, shot it at point blank range and carried it back up the hill. Yeah. How much do you weigh? Oh, 60 kg. 60 kg, so that deer wouldn't be much less. I reckon it'll be about 55 kilos that yeah. deer, so. Yeah, you did really good, mate. Cheers. And um, what about you, Richie? Great, great, great weekend again. Everybody stayed in their own bed. We didn't have any trouble, did we? No, well, hopefully, I, I <coughs> no one jumped in my bed, the, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> some of the best shooting uh, you'd probably see. Carl, Carl did a one, two, three, and <sighs> Colin and I just snuck both these two, mate. They came down the hill about 35, 40 metres and landed together dead. Yep, no, awesome. Okay. It was fantastic. So, Connor. You shot your first deer here how many years ago? 2009. 2009. And, and Connor shot his first deer here. Corey shot his first deer here. Did, did you shoot your first deer here? No. No. And Bradley shot his first deer here. So that's uh, four four firsts here. And uh, yeah, so it's pretty good. And they keep coming back. So it must be doing something right. Oh, brilliant. Good, good, good weekend. So absolutely. It's an awesome bloody team building and exercise and a wind down for a, for a good crew and fucking, yeah, if anyone's thinking about it for their work too, it's probably, we've done a few different things and the boys always want to come back and do this. Hey. 
Yeah. Oh well guys, I think we'll um, make that a wrap for this video. We're just going to be driving out, so it's just boring shit on the quad that you don't really want to see anyway. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next one. Yep. Cheers. So those of you that remember little Blake, this time last year he was a little fawn and now he's a he's one year old and you're a big boy, eh Blakey? So he's had his nuts cut out at um, five weeks I think they had his nuts cut out. So um, yeah that's Blakey. Blakey the pet deer, that's an update, he's, um, he's doing really well. Richie and that are down the hill there, I had to walk up the hill to um, go and see him because I haven't seen him for ages so he probably doesn't recognise my voice but um, Kelly calls him and he comes running down to her and the kids and stuff. So um, yeah, pretty cool eh? Pet deer. So that's how much they can grow in a, in a year basically. Not even really a year, so this time last year we caught him. And that's as much as he'll grow on his head now. He won't grow any more on his head because he's had his nuts cut out. Do you want to follow me down the hill, Blake? Come on. Come on. You coming? Come on, Blake. <laughs>